Uh, so for this video we have a Titan 540 or a Wagner 3.23 and we're going to do a motor removal because we know that this motor is no good. So I'll take you through the whole process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the front cover and that will give us visible access to the connecting rod and the pump. Four screws in the front. keep that all together. Next I'm going to drop this pump. So I will remove the suction hose first. That's all it takes. Sometimes it needs a bit of a knock. Get that out of the way. Yeah I'm going to drop the pump next but before I do that I'm just going to drop the uh, outlet valve, inlet valve sorry, uh, sorry, the suction hose uh, retainer. Yeah, I'm just going to show you again. Never strike above where we have the recess, which is for the circlip. Always strike in a solid section. So there's one there, and there's one there that can both be struck. So straight in there. Shouldn't require more than that. Uh, next, we're going to undo bolt number one, bolt number two. And these are both uh, a 5 16 hex nut or a hex socket. I just like to use power tools because it's a lot quicker. Uh, sorry, it's not the 5 sixteenths. It's the 3 eighths, I believe. Yep, 3 eighths. One. Two. So you got two locking pins. Yeah. So we're going to slide this pump out. Now, uh, I'm gonna go in underneath the back of the pump. So underneath the back of the pump, we have a slit just like we do here. So there's a little bit of space for it to go up. We'll go in, I'll gently push it out, get the pump out as far as I can. And then because this one's all clean and it's not clogged up with paint, it dropped out pretty easily. Now I'm not gonna yank it because the transducer is connected to its jack. So I'm gonna slowly work that out. Careful not to damage the transducer or the jack. Unclip it, there's the pump. So we'll take that aside. Oh, the cover was already off. Otherwise the cover has got two screws which hold it in place. And that's already off. All right, so tar has already been through this one. But anyway, we'll go through it. Four screws in the back. One, two, three, four. Unscrewing the screws will allow you to lift the, the rear protection, rear shroud, and the board in one go. Separate them. Luckily, he's kept all the screws in there. All right, now, should have mentioned it before, but make sure there's no power because you don't want these capacitors to be charged up. Now, with these, you've got this is all your wiring, everything purely unclips. Pull out, the first one is your display. That's your display wire. That's your uh, pressure controller. That is your hall sensor. And that last one is your LED, which is the flashing. Three wires to the electric motor. Black, red, white. And they're labeled the same over here, all in the same colors, I should say. Black, red, and white. There. So it's just a matter of unplugging everything. Once this is out and on the side, now we can get into the motor. So we need to get three bolts off to be able to access the motor bolts on the for the lower house for the lower shroud, and they are a three sixteenths Allen key. The first one is down there. And that holds the electrical cable in place as well, so it's a double. So we'll loosen that up. Put 
that aside. And you have to do these ones, unfortunately, with a Allen key because because of the location, there's no uh, not many sockets you can actually fit in there. So Allen key works nicely. We'll loosen. We'll take this one out completely and loosen the second one and not remove it completely and I'll show you why. Not because we can't, it's just that we don't need to. Okay, so that's one. And then the second one is down in here. Now, because I have it loose enough, I should be able to twist it off. Emphasis on should. No, this one's going to have to come off a bit more. And it's because of the uh, fan shroud. Nearly there. Loosen the fan shroud, four screws. Uh, I will use some actual drill for this one. One, two, three, and last one. Okay. Fan shroud's come off. Lower housing, or lower shroud has come off here. Yeah. We'll have to loosen the three earth wires. Not loosen them, sorry, we'll have to remove them from the motor. Now this motor is no good, so it is a replacement, so we'll have to get completely replaced. Okay, so that's our three earth wires removed. Now back to the motor. We've got one, two, three, four bolts holding it in. If this was completely covered in uh, paint dust, at this stage I'd be brushing, uh, blowing it clean to make sure that when I do pull it out, I'm not gonna contaminate the main bearing. But this one's very clean because this is used for form work. Uh, they would spray a sealer on there, to, so that's why it's not covered in paint. So there's number one. Sometimes they're a little bit tight, just depends on how much Loctite was put on each of these threads from the factory. That's number two. Three. Now this process is exactly the same for a 540 and a 640, or a 3.23 Wagner and a 3.25 Wagner. No difference at all. Even though the motors do have different part numbers, they appear to be identical. And that will be the last bolt there. four bolts here. From here, it's just a matter of sliding this motor out. It's a little bit tight. There we go. Okay, so 
so we'll reinsert that gear back in there because that'll be reused with the new motor and you can see that that's the connection between the rear the uh, motor gear and the connecting rod gear that is now ready for a changeover now before we get rid of this motor there's two things we have to salvage we need to salvage this earth wire down the bottom and we need to salvage this here pin so to get to this earth wire is pretty simple it's a quarter inch uh, socket so the new motor won't actually have these on there this one's pretty straightforward that'll be reused on the new one now to get to this earth one, just going to zoom in a bit. Stick it there. Now this one's got a little Allen key socket, but it's a very small one. And almost every single Allen key that we use on these threads out. So I'm going to show you a little way of doing it. It's not a particularly uh, special trick, but it works. So we're going to put two, two of our nuts back on there. And what I'll do is I'll tighten them up against each other so that there's no play between them. Do it in a way so that the camera can still pick it up. nip them up against each other really tightly or as much as I can now because they're both nipped up really tight I should be able to use it as you can see to remove it and I can do the same process for putting it back onto the new motor from here I should get it by hand there you go so that's how we remove a motor from a Titan 540, 640, Wagner 3.23, 3.25. Um, there's not much else to this. And when we get the new one in, we'll show it, we'll do an install video.